Good morning. It's time to get back out. It's a big session the other day and we got taxed quite a lot. It's left me wondering whether we could have done something better. Had a few suggestions. Thanks guys. A lot of people said maybe just drive off with the fish. I don't know how that'll work. But today, out with Adam, the man behind the camera, with the man with the golden voice. Morning. Uh, and uh, we're going to chase some squid. Probably um, more cuttlefish than squid. But maybe today we might get more squid than cuttlefish. It's nice and early, it's just before the sun comes up. And uh, we've got a variety of lures to use today, so a bit excited to see how they go. I've got some um, cheap ones, ones I've had for years, and uh, bought some new flashy ones. You know, a bit inspired the other day, mate, so we'll see how we go. Let's do it. Oh, you're on? Nice. What are you calling it as? Cuddle or? Yeah, cuddlefish, man. It's got oh. some weight in it. Oh, actually. Is it squiddy? Um, is it a squid? It is. It's a, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a big one. It's a and there it goes back there. Oh, no. It's a donkey squid. It was huge. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, they're there. All right, net set up here then. Yeah. <laughs> I was only just pinned in the tentacle, eh? Yeah. That's got a bit of weight to it as well. Yeah, man, it's got some good weight. This has got some weight. What I'm going to do is walk back. Yep. Oh, again, we've only just got him. Oh, so go slow. you don't want to bring it out of the water because he'll let go. I'm going to walk back so you can scoop it. It's a cuttlefish. Yep, we got him. Man, that's a long tentacle on a cuttlefish. That is. That's really um, abnormal. Is that even his tentacle? No, it's his, man. It's Look his, at that. Wow. Ah, he's trying to bite me. Sorry. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of pre-ink. He's puckering up. Oh, there we go. That's cool. All right, first one's, man. Boom, nice. I was kind of hoping it was going to be that big squid again. Now we've got one in there. Your turn now, mate. Oh, here we go. What's this? A little octopus or something? There's an octopus. We're already using that on it. Oh, look at that. Yeah, right. Interesting. No ink on these guys then. I think there is, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Might have a little ink for that. You want to see something really funny? Oh, oh, what? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, they freak me out too. Uh, they're fascinating looking things, but um, yeah, now we'll let them go. There you go, Pat. Get your book out, look it up. So uh, we're very lucky that I don't think we have blue ring octopuses up around here. This is just a normal one. But either way, I'm not going to play with it. I'll just let it go. Ooh, oh, this oh. is a stonker. This is a good one. Nice, Mick. Nice. Excited. I think it's a big cuttlefish, just got weight. A little bit of drag there, mate. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's <laughs> big mama. That is a big one. So it's really important when you catch these, not to lift the lure out of the water because then the squid or the cuttlefish comes up and then they'll let go. Oh, mate. Oh, stonker, the weight in that. Feel that, buddy. Oh, chunky. It's like a football for a midget. But yeah. That'll almost feed the whole family. Yep, look at that. On that lure. They're loving the white right now, eh? Yeah, my shit up. <laughs> Doesn't sound right. It's a good lure. Look at the colours in it. It's almost glowing. Got a little bit of pearlescent to it. Maybe a bit of UV underneath the skin there. Oh, I don't know. You can see where those grinners have been hitting it at the top. All right. Got to work through those grinners to get the big boys. Yep. 
That's a stonker, mate. It is a stonker. It's probably got about three litres of ink in it. Yeah. Just filled my mouth up with some chips. It's always the way, isn't it? Yep. Handful of chips. They're watching and they're like, oh, he's distracted. Yeah. Let's see if we can't take that lure. Another cuttlefish. Another decent one, too. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, he went super white, super quick. Yeah. I was actually thinking about changing the lure over because we're gonna be in a minute in between. But um I think I might just leave it with that. Yeah, I think the white's doing the damage. It's 3 0 so far. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's bound to happen. I know the drill though. Get the ink off ASAP, right? Or it stains the boat. That's it. I'll let go. Alright, well, you can have it. It's all yours. Well, you can't go 3 and 0 without getting uh, inked, mate. Yeah, I was literally just saying like, how well we've done today with the ink. Well, it's all the way up here, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's down the back of the seat. That's a good one. Sounds like a build pump. <laughs> Put your hand in there. Uh, no, nah, I should be right. Plenty of weight. A fair drift going on here at the moment too, so which means it's going to come to the surface a lot quicker than I want it to. Just. There's another big boy. Check it out. I'm You're the, killing it, mate. I'm the Yamashita. I need to change over to a white one, I reckon. There must be a lot of like white bait running through the system. Oh! oh. <laughs> Look at that. Finally on. Unless I've got another grotesque lump of coral, but a bit of weight behind this, so. Probably a cuttlefish. Yep. Ooh, it's a nice dark one. Welcome to the club, mate. Beautiful. The white one's done the damage, hey? White lure. If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> Ooh, yep. Very icky one. Yeah, in here, yeah. Far out. Just so not. Look at it. Still going. Look at it. That is a lot. That's so much, dude. He's probably half the size now. He's still going. Sweet ass. Boom. Oh, nice, nice. Bit of weight in that. Bit of weight. As I said, I got contact with the ground. And then um, slowed up. He's trying to work. Got him. I don't like the angle he's on though. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's going to be a squirter for sure. Yep, he's ready to pop. Look at that belly. Diggy, 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 diggy. <laughs> diggy, diggy, diggy. Looks like they're in really good condition though, eh? Like their flesh looks really... Uh... Oh yeah, it's really nice. He's thinking about it, he's dripping. He's getting a little excited there. Oh, oh. There we go. Oh, here we go, straight down again. Oh, no way. On the drop, eh? On the drop. Another one with some good weight. Get yeah, mine down there just in case. Put it in the old Rodney and... Here we go. Oh, this one's got some nice colours in it too. Looking very vibrant. Winner. I think we're over that honey hole from last time, eh? I think so as well. White's doing the damage. 
It's amazing how strong they are. Like when they just want to grab something, they just don't let go. Mm, that's it. What's going on, mate? I've got the one with all the fancy little flashes and gadgets going on inside its guts. And I've got, the, I've got the Yamashita, mate. It's the shit. It is the shit. Tell you what, mate, you're doing a good job on that net. Yeah, old net boy. Probably the smallest of the day, but... I still get a nice little fillet out of him. Yep. Yeah, you're killing it. That lure. And the three and a half ounce, is it? I don't know, three and a half inch. Anyway, I like to run a uh, ball sinker. You see, I got a bit of wear on the line there from the way the grinners have been smacking it. Time to get back in there. Beautiful. Oh, mate. Boom. On again, Mick. We're on again, mate. This one has some good weight in it, too. Interesting, it's got it still down. Yeah. Can't see him yet. Oh, he's twirling. And he's ready to pop. Beautiful, you're killing it today. We did say your like my one is worth your ten, right? Mmm. Bit of a uh, cuttlefish slurry in there. It's very thick, isn't it? Mmm. So that's the day done. Uh, we had a good session out there. We um chasing squid we didn't get one but we got a heap of cuttlefish we got about 10 a couple good size ones the size of small footballs uh, and a couple of other smaller ones they have pretty good feed in there you're gonna have a nudge mate you're gonna try it or Man, i don't know they look a bit uh, i'd have to get someone to cook one for me but i'll at least contribute i've got, got the one there for you all right, well, what I'll do next time is I'll bring this little barbecue and cook it up out in the boat then. Yeah, that, okay, yeah, that yeah. sounds like a plan. Try that, mate. On the spot. Yeah, because they do look off-putting. You look at it and go, oh, that doesn't look right. But, um... A little catch and cook sounds all right. Catch and cook, yeah. yeah let's, let's do that next time. We'll do it nice and fresh. All right, done deal. Um, well, because I've already got some, maybe next time I'm going to go offshore or whatever. Oh, uh, who's, who's kidding? We're not going to cook anything offshore. <laughs> we just eat chips and rubbish. <laughs> Too busy fishing. You know, we'll figure something out. I'll, I'll cook it up for you. It's so good. Oh. But uh, yeah, top day. And um, used uh, one lure all day for me today. It was the uh, Yamashita. Um, again, I don't even know how, if there's, am I saying it right? Yamashita. But yeah, it's a nice pearl white lure with a bit of UV glow about it. So when it's in the water, you'll see it sparkle. It's really nice. As I said before, I like to put a sinker on the top of it just to get it down faster because we're in about 10 meters of water here. A lot of people when they go squidding, they're in anywhere between three meters and one meter uh, or less. But I like the deeper stuff um, just because I've had a really good spot where they all tend to, tend to sit around. Uh, we've been giving it a good go over the years. This year isn't as thick as previous years, but I still have a bit of fun. And uh, I must admit the squid aren't there like previous years. They're just not. But, um, maybe it's the weather, or, uh, the water's a bit warmer, later than normal. Who knows? Anyway, that's all I've got to say, mate. Still a good day on the water, mate. Thanks for oh, having mate, us. it's a great day.